So, Friday was not a good day. Between the tornado drill and loud people in class, it was very difficult to, <laughs> to explain all this. So, we're going to try it again from the quiet of my house on a Sunday morning. But this is what we were going to cover on Friday. So this is a graph. This is an example from the textbook from chapter one. And we want to be able to describe this graph. So first of all, we're going to look to see if it's a function or not. If I can draw any vertical line through a graph and hit the graph twice, not counting the axis, just just the shape that's drawn, then it's not a function. This, however, is a function. I can draw an infinite number of vertical lines and none of them will hit this shape more than once. It's a U-shape and we call that a parabola. And that means the equation has an x squared in it someplace. It's continuous. It's not just a bunch of dots. It's some dots that we've plotted, but we've connected all of them. So that makes it a continuous function. There is one y-intercept, one place where it crosses the y-axis, but not really sure where that is in this case. There are two x-intercepts, one at negative 2, 0, and the other at negative 6, 0. This graph is decreasing, going left to right, decreasing until we hit x equal to negative 4, and then it's increasing. This point here is a minimum. Everything else is above that. This is our minimum, and it's at the point negative 4, negative 4. Notice that this is labeled as negative 10, right? So every one of these hash marks is worth 2. So this is negative 2, negative 4, negative 2, negative 4, and that's our minimum. The domain is all x values. If I take this function and squish it toward, just push everything toward this x-axis, because domain goes with x, I get the entire number line because this parabola goes on forever. For the range, I'm going to take this and squish it to the vertical axis. Just push everything over. Just use your imagination, squish it to this, and you'll see that it covers everything from negative 4 all the way to infinity. So my range is y greater than or equal to negative 4. This next graph is also a parabola. Parabolas can face up like a smiley face or down like a frowny face. And parabolas are functions all the time. Look at, for a vertical line test, you'll see you, you can't draw a vertical line and hit this function more than once. It's continuous. There is one y-intercept at 0, 0. We call that the origin. Two x-intercepts, one at 0, 0. Right, one at 4, 0. Because this is a frowning face, right, this parabola has a maximum, not a minimum. This is as high as it gets right here 
and this is at 2, 2. The domain, again, because this goes on forever, if I squish all of this to this x axis, domain goes with x, I get the entire number line on the x axis. But if I squish it all to my y axis, the range is only from here all the way down. So the range in this case is y less than or equal to 2. Another graph. This might seem like a parabola at first, but it's not. Parabolas can only face up or down. They cannot face sideways. And if you do a vertical line test, right, there's a whole bunch of vertical lines we can draw that will hit this twice. So it is not a function, not a function. And it's not a parabola because it's facing sideways. It's continuous. There is one y-intercept at 0, 0, one x-intercept at 0, 0. There's no maximum or minimum, right, because this just keeps going on forever and ever. Right? It keeps getting bigger and smaller. If I squish this to the x-axis, it's going to cover this part of the x-axis all the way out. So the domain is x greater than or equal to 0. The range, right, if I, again, this is going to go on forever. It doesn't have a maximum or a minimum. So the range is going to be all y values. Remember that if we put these in alphabetical order, D comes before R. X comes before Y, so domain goes with X, range goes with Y. All right, another function from the book. Oh, this is a function, right? It passes my vertical line test. It's continuous. There is one Y intercept right here. This is at zero, negative two. One x intercept here at four zero. This function is constant until x equals to zero, and then it's increasing. The domain is all x values. Right? If I squish it down to this axis, it covers the whole thing. But if I squish it up against the y-axis, this vertical axis, I can never cover this part of the number line, right? So my range is y greater than or equal to negative 2. And just to note, this is not on our next quiz or test or anything, but this kind of function is often called a piecewise function because it's really two lines that are pieced together. Just throwing that out there. A little extra information for you. All right, what about this one? This is a line, um, but it's the only line that is not a function because at x equal to two, there's more than one y value. In fact, an infinite number of y values. So it completely fails the vertical line test. It is continuous. There's no y intercept. One x intercept at two zero. It's neither decreasing or increasing. The domain, if I squish that all down to the x-axis, all I have is x equal to 2. But the range is the entire number line on the y-axis, all y values.